Um, so, you know, I'm coming right ahead and just, you know, tipping off all the jack beans. Look at this one. Look, this one looks pretty nice, but I don't want the jack beans overshading the, the popcorn. Leaves too much. Forget about sustainability. You want to enrich ecosystems. Every bean is equipped to live a positive energetic balance. Keep it pruned. We are cultivating abundance. Not a problem to cut down trees. The problem is not planting them. What is up, YouTube? Welcome to the AgroForge Academy channel. I'm going to give you a quick update on the new plot I just planted. If you haven't seen the other video where I showed it the first time, do check it out. I'm posting a card here uh, so you can see it. And now we're 25 days into the plot into since we planted it. And actually this part that you see in the back is a bit younger. It was planted about 10 days afterwards. So, so this one's 15 days. And the one I'm, I'm going to show to you is uh, 25 days. So look at it. You can see that it's already pretty green. Lots of stuff, well sprouted. The jack beans look really nice on the edges of the bed. We've got the pineapple in the middle. We've got popcorn. We've got sorghum in between the jack beans. We've got the prickly pear on the edges as well. The bananas started to come out of the soil. The cassava is already sprouting as well. Here's one, looks pretty nice. Castor beans here in the middle. And and now actually, uh, you know, it's 25 days and I already have to start managing it. I did not get a lot, a lot of weeds until now um, because we did a, an all right job of covering the soil. I would like to have covered more as I mentioned in the last video, I couldn't um, get enough organic matter for the corridors because the idea would be to fill the corridors up with organic matter to to reach the the top of the bed here. Okay, like I did in the new plot, which is this one. This is the ideal situation. You can see that the organic matter comes all the way to the top right it's level with with the surface of the bed right and i only have a small strip of soil here which the sorghum and the jack beans will quickly cover so i will have no problems with weeds and then in the middle in the furrow i've got it well covered with organic matter but here in this plot you know it was planted during the course i was managing 30 people and you know things were weren't ideal but still they're good enough and what i'm already going to start doing is there are very in several spots uh the jack beans are they're just growing so quickly and and my popcorn is i'm afraid it will lag behind in some spots so i'm actually going to give the jack beans a bit of a prune which is a very simple prune, which is this one here. I'm just tipping off one of the leaves, see? Just tipping off one of the leaves to open up, um, to open up light for the corn. This will only slow the jack beans a bit. It will slow them down and it will give enough time for the corn to, uh, to grow higher than the jack beans and the sorghum as well, because the sorghum is here in the middle. Look, this is sorghum, this is the popcorn, okay? Corn grows a bit faster than sorghum. Um, this one looks pretty nice. Um, so, you know, I'm coming right ahead and just, you know, tipping off all the jack beans. Look at this one, Look, this one looks pretty nice, but I don't want the jack beans overshading the, the popcorn. Leaves too much and neither the sorghum leaves. Look, this one here, look at these jack beans leaves. It will quickly cover up the, the, the corn uh, leaves and I, I don't want that. 
So this is a great way to, you know, I'm already putting some organic matter in the soil, as little as it is, but it's still, it's something. And the jack beans will quickly uh, produce new leaves, no problem. So when you're planting, if, if I had planted uh, just regular beans here, I would have done this this little operation even earlier. As soon as the jack beans had produced its first leaf, I would tip it off because since beans grow slower than jack beans and they will occupy the same strata, although jack beans will last longer in the system, you need to give your beans a head start. So this is a way to do it. You could also sow the jack beans a bit afterwards, but um, you know, if you can, it's a good thing to do this. You can do this with a, uh, with a machine as well, if it's a bigger area. You can just make it quicker. Look, this is one of the places where the jack beans could oppress the corn a little bit. So I gotta make sure I don't let that happen. Somebody had asked me, let me take the opportunity to address that. Although I will uh, address it also in a, in a new video only about that. People ask me what I do with prickly pear. Here's what I do with it. I use it as organic matter. Okay. Let me show you something. I have prickly pear shredded underneath uh, this mulch. Look what happens. It's all very wet because of the prickly pear. It's uh, it's like a, look, can you see the gobble? It's a gobble-like um, substance which will maintain humidity in the soil. So for dry regions, which is my case here, although we're having a bit of a, of a pretty wet year, which has been quite bad for my pineapples. I've been having, having a lot of problems with fusarium because of the excessive ra rainfall and, and air humidity. Uh, but it is generally a dry area. You know, I can go for many months without rain. So, you know, the prickly pear is my water storage system. And I can, whenever I want, whenever they're, they've grown, I will just chop them down and feed them back to the soil either directly or going first through a prickly pear shredder and and then back to the soil but i'll make a video about that a specific video about that in another opportunity in the meantime uh let's prune some jack beans uh in the other video that i made i also shared uh, with our patron community. So if you are in our patron community, you had access to that. It's all the costs of implementation of this plot, which is a small 300 square meters plot. And this week I'll be sharing with you the sketch of the system with all the spacings, the population per acre, and all that is going to be in an attached file in our patron community. So if you are in our patron community, do check that out. If you're not, consider joining us. You can join us for as little as $7.90 a month, and you will get access to everything that we've already shared there. We're all, for every video we make, we're sharing a, a new, some extra material with the patrons as well. So it's a great, great way to enhance your agroforestry knowledge. Um, that's it for today, lads. Just a quick video. I wanted to update you on the system. And, you know, I'll probably be doing an, another update in 30 days or so. Things are going to be already pretty big. And I'm probably going to be weeding, you know, doing the first weed. Check out the prickly pear sprouting. It's just an amazing plant, guys. It's an amazing plant. Um, so, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to be weeding, already pruning the castor beans. I want to insert some tomato seedlings here as well. I might be doing that. So make sure you keep in tune for the next video. And that's it. I'm Felipe for the AgroForce Academy, and I'm signing out.